Taxi's custom bikes. I've heard of them. Oh, I support British engineering though. That's alright, doesn't it? It's not a cloud in the sky. But I wasn't going to get the bike out. I've just been weary. <laughs> it must be old age. In two weeks I'll be 58. Yeah, it would have been nice to do something on my birthday, like go to that Edinburgh motorbike show and have Monday and Tuesday off. My birthday's actually on the Monday. You go and have it. Mm. I thought I'd head away from the setting sun and have a look at Clitheroe purely because if I've any money left on my birthday I might go for a couple of pints and a meal can't stop in the house, I've been stuck in since Christmas I don't think I went out at Christmas did I? I know we shouldn't waste the first nice day for over a month but uh, like I said work and getting me down silly goings on three people off our little section and they don't replace them so they had me running around like a fool try to complain and this awful woman said why don't you jack in then let's clear off after eight years so i complained to the boss why do you employ things like that i was going to uh comment on the current situation in uh, Ukraine but I think everyone knows what's going on the question is why a well-known bike vlogger is actually sympathising with uh, Putin saying he had no choice because the Yanks have settled into Ukraine with arms and missiles and they're on about going nuclear and even probably sighting bases there it's like the uh, Cuban Missile Crisis in 1962 <clears throat> the Americans complain about Russia having loan sites on Cuba but at the same time America had loan sites in Turkey just over the border from Russia not to mention West Germany although the Russians probably had them in East Germany so this twerp said oh Putin had no choice well of course he did don't invade don't do anything but of course Putin saying that the pro-Russian in the east of the country 
of Ukraine were getting abused and slaughtered and uh, locked up for nothing. But like I said, it seems like a sledgehammer action to crack a nut, doesn't it? Why not move out back to Russia? When you look at the history Ukraine uh, was expanded after World War II by Lenin, or was it Stalin? Well, I don't know enough about it to comment, but uh, missiles slamming into apartment building. It said there's a lot of fake news going on though, which is the norm these days, isn't it? What's going on here? Not another. That can't be a housing estate on a big hill. Maybe someone's just going to build one house. There's a nice view in the valley. Yeah, so sorry I've not uploaded anything since the motorbike show. It would have been nice. to go to that other show, wouldn't it? There meant to be hundreds of classic bikes at the Scottish one. And like I said, I was last there for my 40th birthday back in 2004. But it's just going to be a pub crawl. What did I do on my 40th? Uh, bus tour of the city with my brother. Pubs, pubs, pubs. Haggis in a pub on the uh, grass market. More pubs. A lap dancing club. <laughs> Although that's uh, just a tease, isn't it? It's like waving a warm meat pie under the nose of a starving man and not letting him have a nibble. Only five pound a dance, so you see. Bargain. <coughs> dance. Still faffing around here, yeah. 4th of January for, what did it say, three months. Yeah, I've just been to Morrison's. I've been to the bog. Got through a bit dodgy. I went to the bog. I thought, no, I'll cobble this to get in the bike out. Went to Morrison's, got some pancake mix, this is it, pancake day on Tuesday. I should have made my own, it's always better making your own, isn't it? Them, uh, what is it, Aunt Fanny, oh, Aunt Bessie's, isn't it? Aunt Bessie's pre mix this, pre mix that. Never the same, they always taste a bit funny and salty somehow. That's why when I make my own, I dump loads of sugar on it. Oh, I actually bought something yesterday because it was payday and it coincided with something useful at Aldi. I used to have one years ago on the same price, twelve ninety nine for a battery charge which also does bikes and it's a trickle charger so I bought one. Fitted one of those white blocks to it so I can plug it in because it's only 0 0.8 of an amp. Because, uh, as you might know, the battery kept going flat, although, because of frost of sort of stopped, it's uh, suddenly burst into life. The dead battery was suddenly back to life after I turned that optimizer, the Oxford optimizer, on and off, on and off, and it lit up, and I left it. Two days later, the battery was fine again, so I'm just completely baffled, but I bought the battery charger anyway. Just to stop. Where are you going, Albert? Yeah, indicate. Yeah. That dump fuel. Overfilling the tank, so the first bend you come to, slosh. Talking of which, I'm not sure how much fuel I've got in here. Not going to conk out. 
someone suggested using um, a circuit breaker on the negative lead to the battery but if you do that it zeroes your bloody trick meter so you lose track of uh, if you're going to run out of fuel or not if I should fill up imagine pushing this where you going It feels like a tank after being used to the YVR for ages. Yeah, a little blast will do the bite the world of good. Yeah, so thanks very much for concern about me and the bike. Me, I'm all right. <coughs> but the aching's getting a lot worse in my legs and my ankles and my feet. So long painkillers every day. That's what you get for working hard all your life in physical labouring jobs. Lots of salt still down, <laughs> and the back, yes, pretty. Uh, Ali didn't sell that bloody charger earlier. Well, pretty. I gave the other one away, and if the lad I gave it to uses it, we did a few swaps. I got a his lad's old computer which keeps shutting down because I think it's blocked with fluff. And I don't fancy taking it apart to defluff it. Oh no, it's. And I've got my little spotlights on. Tiger taxis. I lived around here, but I wouldn't want to intrude. How are you doing, Paul? I'm not sure which house it is. Somewhere up there. It seems to have stopped posting on Twitter as well. You have one of my gizmos off me, Miss Spurlong, which I upload YouTube videos with. And I wondered if he'd, uh, he, like me, he had a vast archive of old VHS tapes. And I said, well, people like watching old stuff, even just old ad breaks from the early 80s. I've been doing a few of my Beatles uploads while I've not been biking. That's what I do in winter, no bikes, but upload Beatles stuff on my Beatles fans YouTube channel. And one video I did this week got a thank you from Paul McCartney's brother, Michael the photographer. So it's nice to see that video back from 1989. Is it digitised? You say, well, yeah. And it says 1080p. Although it's limited to the crappy VHS quality, isn't it? You can't improve on the, whatever the source tape is. So 
Luxor, yes, Clitheroe. Yeah, if I get a text, you don't, that's where I'll be going. Holmes Mill, 1833, Bar and Grill. The Emporium. Although I couldn't get served last time in there. This girl outside said, yes, go in. Drank, uh, and the woman at the bar. Well, actually, <laughs> I think it was someone that's had the operation. Either that or it was Julian Clary. You won't get saved stood there. I said, well, we'll go elsewhere then, eh? We were told we would. Ignorance, aren't you, some people? Why can't everyone just be pleasant and being, instead of being snotty? So, pub crawl round to the road. Nice curry. My 58th birthday. Or should I just stop in and save me money? I keep getting mixed up, which is a turn off for uh, Waddington. I brought me a camera with me, I wanted to take some uh, up to date pictures of my bike in the bright sunshine. Oh, that is Waddington. I'm going to wait till the sun's actually down at about 5 or 6 o'clock just so it's not dazzling. Although I do have my old reactor light glasses on. It shouldn't be too bad. Just my little spotlights. What that's like, Ribble Tandoori. What kind of then a Mustang looks like it, doesn't it? Now, is this the road where my old boss did all his MC? That were a decent boss that uh, liked all of his employees because they made his fortune working hard at the factory and we got rewarded. And he, I think he lives down here, or is it the other road? And if he's still alive, if he retired in 2001, I think it was, that means he's 65, 70, 85, 86 now. What a nice old chap. I meant to have a helicopter pad at the side of his big house. And I think it was one of these. Maybe the end one. Can't put a card through though, saying, Are you still alive? Thanks very much for treating your employees nice. You know, some firms hate their employees, don't they? The river gone down, looks like it, a bit more peaceful. No, I'm not going mad on this bike, not used to it, we're having the little YBR commuter all that time, it's the weight of it, it's just a bit of getting used to. Weight of it, 
It's 1300, we're about 200 pound more than this. And I'm a super for it. Anyone coming this way? No. Thank you. Is everything back to normal? Is uh, is the pub back open? But you can't stop there. There's no lines, is there? But it won't be wise to stop for pictures. Plus, the flowers aren't out yet anyway, are they? All the supermarkets have got rhododendrons for sale. Oh, back inside car. I don't know what it is. Yeah, if the sun's over there, I could go on that. What the hell is that? Bouncy ball. sun's over there, I could go on that uh, parking area at the top of the hill. Ooh. This is where I had that near miss with the Land Rover, remember? Many years ago, about seven years ago I think it was. It was on this side of the road coming around this wide bend, silly old sod. And I can out farm it. Any huge potholes, they wouldn't have been repaired from winter, would they? Oh, the one there we a patch on. When did it start getting leafy with all the new shoots on? March, April, May, end of May I think. What sort of flowers should I get from your little garden this year? The years keep rolling by, don't they? Another summer ahead, hopefully. The war will have stopped and we won't all be wondering if uh, the button's going to be pressed. Just imagine a big mushroom cloud now, boom. People have been watching that thing from the early 80s, 1984 I think it was, called Threads. But they're only clips on YouTube because, uh, well, they're obsessed aren't they with copyright, I don't know why. Basically, we're a lad, I think he was a mechanic, and he used uh, still live with his parents and they're discussing it. Hey lad, look at that! What? Russians have uh, opened fire on Yanks in Iraq. Um, you know, very predictive. Ah, it won't come to nothing, you wouldn't dare do it. Uh, else and shoot at each other, would it? Well, I don't know. Um, and then on the telly it announced that a nuclear shell had been used to wipe out a brigade of Russians or was it the other way around, I don't know, I don't know, you press the first button and then that was it, and the next thing, lad's working on his, uh, his head of Range Rover, Land Rover and the first thing is the blinding white lights no sound, because of course sound's relatively slow blinding white light then the heat, people were bursting into flames then the shockwave and then the noise I remember it being on the television in fact I think it got banned because Thatcher wasn't happy with it because the Cold War was at it, was it its height then wasn't it with Reagan I'm not sure who was in 
What happened to Gorbachev, that chap with the birthmark on his head? He was reasonable, wasn't he? He wasn't a maniac. Oh, it's all a bit bleak. What's this? What's this? Nothing behind. Oh, I can't take a picture there, can I? Be? Big puddle and cars there. What should I do with that scenic route? It's that sun in it. That's a bit worrying. Yep, Sunday drivers roll out, although I suppose that includes me. I'm glad the brakes haven't stuck. I mustn't have had any salt on them this time. See, buy me sheep. Yeah, go on, right in front. What are you doing, silly? Where's that little lay by? Oh, there's one there. It's all hazy, the camera won't pick any nice scenery up anyway, I don't think. Oh, someone right behind. Good spot. Yeah, I used to have a bike, American Import, that had uh, five watches in the indicators on all the time and then when you turn the switch the five watches went out and the 21 watches kicked in but it caused some confusion, a woman pulled out something Why is your indicator around us? It's not, you stupid woman How far is it? Gunshot brings. I 
Yeah, when I check my card, I've not got a lot of time left. I can take stills off this helmet camera, but I wanted to test my camera, didn't I? And uh, they were a bit blurry last time, I wonder if I got the settings wrong. So it's meant to be more megapixels, or is it pegimixels than my old camera? And it should have been a lot sharper, and it wasn't. I've bought a duffer off eBay. It said hardly used as new. <coughs> as I keep saying, because I'm going back the same way, but the other way, it's a different perspective entirely isn't it so it's like a different ride that's that that's that lay by I'm going to stop at because the hill's behind um, I have fuel I'm going to fill up at that petrol station on the way back Hopefully I won't run out of bloody fuel. Why can't you have a low fuel? It's just got bugger all. You just have to go off the bloody trip meter. I think Hornet was meant to be a budget bike. So, like I said, that's why I didn't want to use that contact breaker. Zero in the... Uh, Trip meter isn't a good idea when you use it to monitor your bloody petrol consumption. Oh, little lay by, but no hill. Yeah, it's me again. by our Stockton in the past. Bit of greenery in the background. Yeah. 
Yes, Phil. I said, why didn't I fill up or at least check it like I did before? Quiet. It's a bit dodgy, isn't it? It's going to reverse a bit. Edge of the road's worn away and crumbled. When I was little, I used to put wellies on and walk up streams, you know, tracing the source of the now. Good fun. So there you go, something to do. <laughs> Oh, look at that. Imagine missing, misjudging a bend and going down one of them bloody big holes. All the edges of the road should be smooth, shouldn't they? In an ideal world. Oh, but my eyes are open and that wind is getting my eyes. It's still a bit chilly. It's probably a little steamy up now. We're on a Pendle Hill. Stay to this road. This side's worse than the other. <coughs> Ribble Valley. Let's see, look at this. Mm. There are better roads in bloody Calcutta. for your front wheel to go in. Tramline potholes. How does that happen? Something digging in from a tractor. You always worry of things pulling out some dizzy woman reversing a car or something. I keep thinking about that chap last summer that was uh, killed when you collided with a tractor. There was a tractor pulling out and wallop. Tractor drivers haven't got their mind on the road, have they? I must get this load of manure delivered to the farm. Splat. Here we chat. You see, this side's rough as elephant's ass and the other side's smooth. Nothing <coughs> behind good. 
As you can see, I've got my Harvey's orange vest on, which is flapping about in the breeze. Which I think is a bit more noticeable than... Uh, the yellow one is in this countryside, so to blend in, because there's lots of greeny yellows, isn't there? Therefore, I use this orange one more than anything else these days. See, I'm ready. As the run. Poo. That's where you get burning damp leaves and twigs. Yeah, is that some kids bouncy ball? Is it? It's one of them exercise ones that women sit on and roll about. West Bradford, Grindleton, Clitheroe, two mile. I'll stop for this car. I'm more manoeuvrable. Oh, never mind, Albert. You know, only get a little hand, don't you? Thank you. Oh, it's a motor gutsy. Of course, you have to see your engine sticking out. Nice little village, isn't it? I recommend you come here in summer or spring when all the flowers are out. Have a nice meal. Or just a brew and a cake at the cafe. Stroll by the waterside and carry on. Stop, meal cafe. <laughs> Stroll by the river side, carry on. <coughs> but if that floods, it flood people's houses if it gets into a raging torrent. What are you doing, Albert? What are you doing? You know what I've not tested, don't you? It's connected permanently now, aren't well I say connected, it's on a rocket switch to turn the power off. I made a mistake when I first got it of having it powered up all the time and of course it burned the electrics out, burnt two chips and I've replaced them. It's been fine ever since because it's been on a contact breaker. And I've wrapped the buttons in uh, insulation tape to waterproof them. I'm going to have to test it before I get home, make sure everything's alright. View spoiled by the cement works. Big limestone quarry you see, and uh, that lad Paul gave me uh, a fossil which him and his lad had found at the quarry. Prehistoric semi-animal, semi-vegetable creature. Well, it's a stem, I think about five foot high or something, and it's a thick stem from halfway down. Waggle about in the water, grabbing things, so was it animal or was it vegetable? I could show you if you want, I should put a few stills on this video. I used to be into fossils you see, when I was little I had quite a collection because the old railway, railway line was there in my town and all the white limestone chippings with loads of little anemones and things in the rocks and I had loads of them. I gave them all away to my school pals, always giving stuff away. That shop. Oh, that's an electrical shop. Mum just got a new washing machine like I did last year. See, all these things I have to buy and I don't recover from it. If I put all that money out for the washing machine, I don't magically get 
an extra £300 from somewhere, do I? And it was the house insurance just before Christmas, Blackie's vet's bill for his sad demise, so all them hundreds and hundreds of pounds, I've actually borrowed £600 on a cash advance thing, you know, what do you call them? Money, money transfer, yeah. I said, I'll oh, have £600, please. 20 months interest free. And someone said, don't get in debt, well you have to, because like I said, you can't magic. Indicator, I do not use the indicator. Little orange lights after Christmas. Was he in old back? I'm looking on Facebook, a motorbike club has shut down after a bus stop with a head on show. Do they think that Hell's Angels or something, with all them cause and conditions? He said, if he, if he uses uh, our logo, we're going to sue him. I thought, my God. I thought all bikers were meant to be mates. I've never found that to be the case, actually, some of that twerps. <laughs> Maybe I'm one of them. So where's that sun? I do have my glasses on, they'll be dark by now. Sorry it's still been a bit uh, dull, but like I said, I don't feel too tired to be biking, but I just feel a bit dopey. It's like a permanent dopiness due to old age. That's why you get a nurse to go shuffling dominoes, I think. You know what I mean? Drinking mild and shuffling dominoes and watching gardening programs, they're all signs of old age, aren't they? It's 58 old though. Some people age better than others. I mean, Paul McCartney's 80 in June, he just announced a 14 day tour before his birthday in America, of course, not this country. And his voice, they're all playing, oh, they're all calling him names, you know, his voice has gone, oh, what's the point of him doing a concert? Mm. And yet Ringo, I think his dad is, well he must have died, he's uh, Ringo's 82 in July. And he's jumping about, he's still uh, performing. So if you haven't done a physical job all your life, I think you age better, don't you? Thank you, Albert. Right, petrol station, next stop. <coughs> Blackburn, nine miles. on summer when the sun's up in the sky not low down like this a bit warmer and lots of greenery and if run holiday from work less traffic about these roller bloody Sunday diners and Sunday shoppers heading for home I think and though that uh, yeah that'd be a nice picture wouldn't it I pull over again at that uh, Fishing Lake or X Fishing Lake. And if they've actually bought any pods ready for people to move into the lodges or are they gonna build them from scratch? Them pods are deeded, I tell you, 20 odd 
thousand pounds for those wooden pods just to play in Blackburn mix them. You must be mad. Get your song and groove. Twenty odd grand. Eh? I applied for a job there and I had nothing. Because I do a bit of woodworking. Yeah, service is third of a mile. I don't know which thing I can do, so I'm going to go for petrol. Yes, don't cut corners. And please, there's no. Uh, Hooligan drivers about. That lady stopped nicely for me. And we're all full. Yeah, that's that noisy American car again, isn't it? Let's have a look. Is it a Mustang? Dodge? A Dodge Charger? Dodge some hemi hemi's the engine in it. <coughs> Can smell food. That's another reason I weren't gonna come out. I didn't feel like eating out. Went to my mum's for tea on Friday because I was on early. Saturday, I thought of getting something, but I didn't. I just had bruised biscuits and uh, hot chocolate then bed. Has that got the super duper fuel in that lane? Nice, isn't it? Why did you not put uh, super duper stuff in? Supreme unleaded. So, and this is on a postcard. First equipped Hemi IT Dodge something or other. Not an old one though, is it? I'm not a really a car fanatic, but I like watching old fettling that Ed Chiner does on the show. Remember that when he. They had little lift up plastic shutters on the headlights and they wouldn't work and they vacuum operated I think. And it was something or nothing and there we are, it's working again. Fudum, fudum. But why are plastic shutters anyway? Keep flies off the glass, maybe. So yeah, it won't be, uh, well, hopefully. With that new battery charger, if it gets cold, 
I warned me having to guess with the trip meter and fuel consumption anymore. Because like I said, as soon as you break that contact, it zeroes. I didn't fancy running it with a contact breaker on anyway. What if something went pear-shaped so or vibrated loose on the motorway? That wouldn't be much fun, would it? What's he done? What's he done? Very nice. Has he got a fancy horn on it? Has he got a fancy horn? I think I've got uh, a <laughs> Tyson. And eight, eight other novelty sounds. Not really loud enough though, is it? <laughs> oh, yeah. There you go, the Dixie horn. <laughs> Should have the Dukes of Hazard Horn. Trip on in two point three. Now it's zero. Get me money. Yep, thirty pounds. I need a vote. 20 or anything if it's as empty as I think. So E5, E10, Super Unleaded 97 Octane. Oh, it's quite full. Still. See that's what I mean, you lose track. If you can't see the bloody numbers, you lose track. Unless I put a little sticker on me writing. So it's costing enough, what's a 158.9 a litre. I'll put 15 in. 15 pound I mean. I didn't bother buying a paper this morning because it's full of all the depressing news. We all know what's going on. People dying, war is never any good, is it? Yeah, that sticker, I realised, had a spare cheat one inside, so I stuck it over the top. Because it said CBR. And because it wasn't a CBR, of course, I put horn on top, but it looked a bit crap. So it's better with nothing on. Oh yeah, I got fifty pound now because I got paid. See, look at that, it's terrible, isn't it? Why well, shoot you a block of flats? Could I don't advertise the gold coins? Metal detector.
Oh, number four, please. Fifteen pounds. Thank you. Thank you very much. See ya. I'll give it a good clean when I'm in the mood, when the weather gets a bit warm, and I'll fit them new crash bars. See, it's only five o'clock, don't go dry, it's all six now. So, like I said, the normal service will resume as soon as possible, but I'm concentrating on paying bills off at the moment. You're going a little bit. See, that's what I mean about fuel spillages. The nice view of Pendle. Siren from somewhere, oh, it's here. I hope it's not a biker. Anymore. Well, I was going to stop there, but published to it. Get home, put Mr. Fry on. <coughs> you know, what's that? Lamborghini? Free PCA. Paul Colin Albert. Back brake feels a bit funny. Do brake shoes, well shoes, do, do pads get a sort of film on? I've always wondered, you know, like a shiny film that so I need sort of breaking up before it grips again. Because, you know, if I neglect it, I always wondered. I once mentioned contamination with the uh, oil or grease and someone said, oh, they're not sponges, you know, well, don't they absorb stuff like that? If it's little metal bits compressed together, then there'll be little capillaries, surely, that could get stuff in them. Unwanted stuff like lubricants. Another one, Alfa Romeo, I think it was.
And this indicates he's on it, so it's best to let them know where you're going. So the new build, or I'll just demolish the old house and start it again. No cars behind. To touch that back brake and see what's going on. Oh yeah, it's biting. Maybe to my imagination. Of course, during a big spring clean, I'll have all the uh, calipers off to examine how much meat's on the pads, etc. Change the oil, filters. Lots of faffing about in it on the backyard floor. Not sure how much of a faff fitting those new crash bars will be. It looks like a bit of fiddly. Like I said, with no ramp, a bit of a pain in the ass. On the old knees, I had to get some more runners or put some old towels down or something. Yep, so lots and lots of bills to pay. No money tree for all the extras, like I said, vets bills and. Uh, House insurance, tell me bloody pound. May it at work, just as a sort of bed seat, which he shares with a few other lads. Communal kitchen, but uh, a bed in uh, one room, you know. Doesn't pay water bills, doesn't pay fuel bills, doesn't pay council tax, doesn't pay house insurance. And he's mourning because his landlord just put the money up per uh, tenner a week, £40 a month. I said, yeah, but you're a lot better off than me, mate, bloody hell. I think he said he paid, he paid 375 and now it's gone up to 415 And he's not happy. How long have we been out? Only an hour and a half left on the SD card. Sons of Sandisk. <laughs> so, so, to the Yamaha. I'll go the top way rather than these roundabouts in this crappy little road. Imagine this being a bus route down there. Well, I'm glad I got the bike out. I wasn't going to bother, like I said. Not sure what summer will bring. I deleted a few silly sods, trolls who live in the mum's attic making silly comments. Why not go to Blackpool again? That's all you do, innit? You? you don't venture very far. Mm. Well, no, I don't. Over 100 miles and I get very, very tired. That's what led to that uh, nasty incident in July 2020. Despite setting off all right, it just gets to me, mile after mile after mile of crappy country lanes and then not having anything proper to eat or drink not a good idea 
You should all be prepared to tell people that I'm stopping for a meal and a drink. I don't care what you do, I don't care if you want to get home quickly. I'm stopping here. So there we have it. Thank you for watching, if you're still watching. Let's hope the war doesn't carry on too long. Where do I see? Page, can you see? Let's see. Page to the engine black. Looks a bit cooler, I suppose. Although it's not meant to look cool, it's a white community. And that is a new battery charger with the plug-in end optimizer fitting body done. <laughs> Just like I said there would be a bit of a disappointment. Although it sprung into life, all I did was flick them on and off with a circuit breaker. light up blue and it seems to start working again properly you know maintaining a charge rather than letting it run down still recording <laughs>